Hi all, we're going to continue with our Cisco IOS router labs and today we're going to talk about PBR and that's policy based routing. Um, so the IOS devices by default do uh, destination routing, right? So I only have one route in here now, for example. Um, it's the default route and it says uh, no matter what you're destined for, any subnet with any subnet mask, go to ISP1 to get there, right? Um, destination routing. So let's say, for example, we wanted PC, when PC2 talks to Pub2, we want him to take the ISP2 link. If we put in a destination route, so IP route 200 200 11 with uh, all 255s for the mask, go to 112.112.112.2, that would work, but it would also route you know, everyone else on this subnet when they're going towards pub2 to go down to ISP2 to get there. And the only one we want to redirect is PC2 and only when he's going towards pub2 to take the ISP2 link. Everything else should take the ISP1 link, including PC2 when he's talking to pub1, right? So the way to do that is with PBR. And in the Cisco IOS device, you manipulate routing with PBR using route maps. So that's what we're going to do today. So you start off, and you need to build an access list. Uh, access list, we'll use 100. We're going to permit uh, full IP from host. PC2, when he's talking to host, pub2. Okay, so ACL 100 permit full IP from host PC2 to host pub2. Now we're going to create our route map, route dash map. You can call it anything you like, we'll call it redirect. And then permit. Um, enter. Uh, we, You can have sequence numbers here, so if you, you know, you can apply one route map statement per interface, for example. Then you can have uh, uh, multiple uh, sequence numbers. So in each sequence number would have its own uh, set of match and set clauses, statements. Um, so you could do, you know, uh, redirect permit 10 and then 20 and then 30. And each each of the, the statements, 10, 20, 30, uh, would have its own match set statements within there, um, different from, from the previous ones. And still, all of those will be applied by, by applying the one name of the route map to the interface or whatever you're uh, applying it to. Um, so as I was just saying, there are match and set clauses that go inside a route map. So our match is going to be match IP address 100. So it's saying if you match this access list, which is traffic coming from PC2 going towards Pub2, then you're going to do the set clause. And we're going to do a set IP next hop. And your next hop is going to be ISP2 down here, our gateway to ISP2, 112.112.112.2. Right, so that's it. That The route map's done. Um, and now how you apply this, the, the route maps for PBR, you apply them to the interface where the traffic is coming into the router, not where it's exiting. So in our case, we need to apply to this interface here, connected to the 10.10.10, because that's where it's going to enter the edge router. And that interface for us is fast ethernet 1 slash 0. And you apply it with the IP policy route map command and our route map we called it redirect perfect um, so that's it let's have a quick look so if we go to PC1 and um, when he's going over to pub1 he should take ISP1 and I've got um, NAT overload statements on both uh, ISP the both ISPs going out so we should either be triple ones dot one or the one twelves dot one, and we got the ISP one subnet there, so that's perfect. And if we go from PC one to pub two, we should also take ISP one link, and we got overloaded to that address, so that's perfect. If we hop over to PC two, if we connect to pub one. We should hopefully get ISP1 address. And we did. It's perfect. 
But when we're going from PC2 to Pub2, our route map should send us out the ISP2 link, right? So we should be overloaded to the ISP2 address. And sure enough, we have been. That's perfect. Uh, you can do show, is it IP route map? It means just route map. Uh, redirect. All right, so you can see um, it's sequence number 10. As I was saying, you can put multiple sequences. Um, it's giving you the match uh, clause is matching access list 100. The set clause is to set your next hop to, in our case, ISP2. And you can see that the policy routing matches 27 packets. So we're definitely taking the route map. Um, you can tell by looking at the hit counts here. And we've actually been overloaded to ISP2's IP address. Um, so that's the basics. I mean, you know, it's an access list we were matching on, right? So we could have just, we could have said that, um, let's get the, get the ACL up here. We could have said that uh, maybe we only want to affect traffic when it comes from, uh, it's TCP traffic from host PC2 going towards host uh, pub2, but only equal to, you know, 25 or 80 and send specific, only that one port would go out ISP2 link. All other traffic from PC2 going towards pub2 would take the ISP1 link, right? Um, so it's, you know, it's very flexible and you can do a lot with it. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. That's the basics of it anyway. I mean, you can get a lot more in depth, but again, we're just showing you the basics right now. Um, any questions, I guess, leave, leave comments uh, on YouTube and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.